Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to program your radio for a SHTF scenario. That could be being stranded in the mountains or at sea, some sort of natural disaster, some type of power outage, or even World War III. I'm going to show you what are the must-have frequencies that you need to have pre-programmed in your radio. Stuff like your national calling frequencies, search and rescue, police and EMS mutual aid frequencies, and a lot more. It doesn't matter if you already own a radio like a Bofeng, Guansheng, or any other type of radio. This video applies to all of them and programming them is pretty similar. If you don't own a radio already and don't know what to get, personally I recommend any of these four. And I'm not being paid or sponsored by Rattel, but in my opinion they're the best radios under $50 at the market. For $26 you can get a radio like this and you're getting a lot more for your money compared to a Bofeng. This radio has a spectrum analyzer which is extremely useful in an SHTF scenario. You have USB, SSB modulation and AM modulation so you can listen to the military airband. 1000 channels and a lot of neat functions. And this RT900 has Bluetooth programming and AM modulation also for listening to the military airband. The RT4070 also has AM modulation and does approximately 14 to 15 watts. So it's a really powerful radio and one of my favorites. And the RT730 is a solid radio. I think it looks like a police radio and it does 12 watts on VHF and UHF. And I think you can go wrong with any of them. I'll be leaving links to all of them pinned in the comments and also in the video description. And I recommend getting them from AliExpress. Personally, I've been buying there for over 10 years and I've never had any problems. But if you prefer to buy them from the Rattel's website directly, and you use my link and the code TAC, you can get a 10% discount. Now let's get started. Firstly, I need to say that if you think you can just buy a radio and leave it in the box and you can use it in an emergency by using a random channel or by scanning, you're gonna have a bad time. And that's because, for example, you can start scanning and especially if you don't know the frequency allocation table and you start from 136 megahertz, for example, and let's say someone is transmitting at 136.1, you start the scan and he keeps talking, he keeps talking and he stops transmitting right now. The radio just passed over 136.1 and you'll never know someone was talking there. And that is why you need to program these frequencies in advance. This way you can just scan all of the channels or you can go to a specific channel and ask for help or listen for information. Also, disclaimer, transmitting on most of these frequencies is illegal unless you're in an emergency situation. However, listening is perfectly legal in most countries. And this can come in quite handy, especially if there's some sort of incident, like the train incident where there was a chemical leak or some sort of nuclear incident. This way, if you listen to the fire department or emergency services, you can get more accurate information versus the news. And also you can program all of these radios from the keypad directly and I'll show you a bit later how to do that. First I'll show you the easier option and that's using a programming cable and chirp. And you can buy a programming cable for approximately 2 to $3 or an even better cable like this one for approximately $6. Personally, I recommend this one. And I'll be leaving links in the video description. Once you open Chirp and you connect the cable to your radio and power it on, you need to select the correct COM port after you click download from radio. So in this case is COM3. Then you select the vendor and the model of the radio and you press OK. After it finishes downloading, you can delete the pre-programmed channels that came with the radio. So you'll have a blank slate. Now, in terms of frequencies that you actually need, in Chirp, you can go here and you'll find a list of frequencies like all of the marine channels, PMR channels, GMRS channels, calling frequencies, etc. You can add this later, but for now we're going to start with the calling frequencies. You're going to select all of them by holding down control, then right click and copy. Then you need to select the row so it's blue and then right click and paste. And those are your ham calling frequencies. Now I'm gonna add the rest of the channels just to save time. 
and I'm gonna go through them and explain what they each do. Firstly, the ham calling channels are the channels used by licensed ham operators to make contact with each other. So you'll probably hear a lot of people talking there. Channel four is GMRS channel 20. And I also added a transmit tone and that tone is 141.3. Make sure you don't add a tone for RX, only for TX. Channel 5 is Coast Guard Search and Rescue. Channel 6 is Marine Channel 16, and that's the international calling channel for all boats. So if you're in an emergency and you're near water, you can reach a boat or the Coast Guard. Channel 8, Air Emergency, is the international distress frequency for airplanes. And 243 MHz is the NATO air emergency frequency. As we get into channel 10, VCall, the V stands for VHF, and it's the National Mutual Aid Calling Channel. The rest of the channels, VTAC, stands for VHF Tactical. Channel 15 is VSAR, which stands for VHF Search and Rescue. Again, it's the National Search and Rescue Frequency. And VSAR 16 is the calling frequency. Also notice that all of these channels have a tone, and the tone is 156.7. And this should be for TX only, but again, transmitting on these frequencies is highly illegal. So I would advise you against it, but it's good to have these frequencies to listen for information, or in a true emergency where you can't reach anyone over the phone, you can use them to call for help. Next you have VMED, which is VHF Medical. Mountain Search and Rescue. FEMA Ops. Army National Guard 1 and 2. Next is Civilian Air Search and Rescue. And last two is Fire Tactical. Okay, now that you finish with the most important 29 channels, after you finish with them, you click File, Open Stack Config, and over here you have the rest of the stack frequencies. And for example, this is Europe LPD and PMR channels. You have frequencies for Germany, for Australia. What else? UK business radio channels. You have the US 60 meter channels, US aviation frequencies. I think railroad is the police, if I'm not mistaken. US FRS and GMRS channels, MERS, Marine VHF channels, and the NOAA alert channels. And I'm gonna continue with FRS. I'm gonna copy them. I'm gonna go to the main page of the radio where I have all of the frequencies. I'm gonna right click and paste. And now I've added all of the FRS and GMRS channels and also the repeaters. That's why you can see the offset. Now going back to file, open stack config, I'm gonna select MERS and it's only five channels. Right click, copy, Main page, right click and paste. Now again, file, open stack and fig. And I'm gonna add the US Marine channels. And I think it's like 80 of them. So you wanna control and select all. Copy, right click and paste. And if you have all of these frequencies in your radio, you're good. Now, most radios already have the NOAA channels, but you can also just add them just to be sure. So I'm gonna copy all 10 of them. I'm gonna go back to the main page, right click, paste. And now I have the NOAA channels as well. With all of these channels pre-programmed in your radio, you should be good in any emergency. However, if you want to find more local frequencies, you'll need to go to Radio Reference. So once you go to Radio Reference, you click Databases, RR Database. You can just select Near Me, 
but since I don't want to show my location, I'm going to click browse. Okay, now you get the map and from up here you can select your country. So if you're from a different country, you can find your local frequencies. But I'm going to leave it for the US and I'm going to select Florida. And over here you can see the list of frequencies. So for example, Civil Air Patrol and that's federal. Florida Common Shared, Department of Military Affairs, Juvenile Justice, Department of Transportation, Federal Fish and Wildlife, Forest Service, Air Route Traffic Control. Let's try Federal. Now notice that the mode here says P25. That means it's digital and you won't be able to listen to it. However, the channel is listed as FM are okay to listen to. Okay, I'm gonna go back. Civil Air Patrol. And over here, you can listen to all of the frequencies that aren't P25. And there's a lot of them. A majority are not in the airband, so you can actually transmit on them as well. Again, highly illegal, but in case of an emergency, you can use it. Now, what you also want to do is add some local repeaters. The repeaters are useful because you can listen to ham radio operators speaking, but also you can reach a lot further in case of an emergency. You can also install the repeater book app on your phone, and it will just show you the repeaters near you. I do think it's a lot easier to do it from your phone, so I'm going to show you on the screen. And apologies, I'm doing it from my iPad, but it's the same thing from an iPhone or Android. So after you select your location, over here you're going to see all of your repeaters. And I'm going to choose a random one, for example this one. And over here, 147.325, the first one is your receive frequency. So this is where you need to listen. Under it is 147.925, so that's your transmit frequency. That's where you need to transmit in order to reach the repeater. So the offset is plus 0 0.6 megahertz. Now under that, next to FM, you'll see 91.5, and that's the CTCSS code needed to access the repeater. So in your radio, you need to go to TX CTCSS and select 91.5. If you don't do this, you won't be able to open the repeater. And also make sure you don't put a CTCSS code for RX, or you won't be able to hear anyone speaking. And I would recommend you add the nearest repeaters first, so you make sure you can reach them. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to program your radio from the keypad in case you don't have a programming cable or a computer. So, first of all, you should know that the radio has two modes, and one is channel mode, and the other one is VFO, where you can input the frequency directly in the radio. So, you want to start with VFO, and after you input your receive frequency, you're going to press menu. And from here, let's go to the number one menu setting, and we're going to scroll down. And first one is TCTCSS. So in case it's a repeater or one of the frequencies that requires an access code, you can input it from here. And in order to activate the function, you can press star. In other radios, it could be a different button like menu or hash. But anyway, you just move up or down, select the code, and then you press menu. Going down into menu, Scan mode, you want to select Add, so we will scan the channel. Offset is where you input your offset frequency for repeaters. So for example, if the repeater offset was 0 0.5, you input 0 0.5. And you click Menu to save. SD stands for Step Direction, so there is where you're going to select plus or minus. In the case of most repeaters, it's going to be a plus, so the offset will add 0 0.5 MHz. And then you need to go to Store Channel. You select the channel number where you want to store it. You press Menu and it will save it. 
then you need to go into channel mode from the main screen and then when you go back to menu you're gonna be able to edit the channel name and after you're done you press ok and that's it now all you have to do is do this 29 times to add the most important channels and you should be good but like i said it's easier if you just use a programming cable like this to add them through chirp and that was it for this video my next one is going to be of what's inside of my disaster slash bug out bag so if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see my next one please don't forget to subscribe click that bell notification icon so you'll be notified when i upload a new video leave a like drop a comment and if you want to support this channel you can also buy me a coffee using the link below take care